Um, the event that led to the nomination of this group was a uh, call in Adams County for a um, bicyclist that was found unconscious on the side of the road. And uh, it turned out that the uh, cyclist had a cardiac event and was pulseless and apneic. Um, the first two people on the scene were um, just regular citizens, bystanders, who uh, stopped and uh, assessed the situation, contacted 911, and started CPR. I was driving down Route 34 on my way to class, and on the opposite side of the road, there was a bicyclist just walking alongside his bike. Um, didn't really think much of it. it. It was warm. I thought, well, you know, maybe he was having problems with his tire or whatever. But just as I approached, was almost next to him, he just fell over onto a grassy area. So what I did was I immediately stopped my car, got out to run and ran. Um, a van stopped behind me that had about two young girls, college age girls in the car. And I realized that I had forgotten my phone. And I yelled to them, do you have a phone? You know, and college or young girls, of course they did. Two young girls were on the phone right away, you know, relaying that um, the patient was unconscious and that there was a nurse on the scene. And, you know, and then as they were talking to them, I said, you know, we're gonna start CPRs and we'll cardiac arrest, which. And when I arrived on scene, there were two ladies doing CPR on this gentleman. And what was in my mind was like, you know, thank God I got a little bit of help here. And that right there set the tone for the rest of the code. As soon as the paramedic got there, um, his name was Rick. He immediately um, said, who's the nurse? You know, and I said, I'm, you know, I'm the nurse. He had hooked up to AED, you know, found out that a shock was advised. Had him stop and defibrillated the gentleman. Um, had them continue CPR for another two minutes. Uh, while they were doing that, um, I placed a, um, I used our easy IO and I placed a uh, interosseous needle into his, um, into his humerus. So everybody acted together as a team from the citizens to the dispatchers to the BLS and to the ALS to make this outcome what it was. We nominated Susan because first of all, Susan is well known on her particular unit to be a very compassionate nurse and someone that, that, we, that we admire. She's someone that, that is uh, kind of, uh, she's quiet, she's very faithful, uh, she is just, just an outstanding employee. And when this happened, we thought this would be a wonderful way to honor her. If it was their child laying out there, their husband, their brother, you know, you want somebody to stop and help them. And it's just reaffirmed the thing, you know, you're in the right place at the right time. And Cardiac arrest uh, incidences are probably more prevalent than what the average person realizes. What was unique in this situation, though, was the age of the, the person that went into cardiac arrest. He was only 38 years old. And as he has said, that was the, this was the last thing on his mind. He thought he was fit. He thought he was living a healthy lifestyle. And yet it suddenly happened. Take a stand. If you see something that needs to be done, don't, don't expect someone else to do it. Make sure to do it by doing it yourself. I was surprised and honored. It felt nice. I've never, you know, you, know, you don't get a lot of attaboys in this job sometimes. And, um, you know, I guess, it, uh, I'll be honest, it was a nice feeling. I have to not be entirely human, not to let that make you feel a little bit good. You know, you get to help somebody. It's not a bad job to have. How many people get a chance to do that, huh? It's nice to realize that you get to make a difference now and then. You know what I mean?